I was a journalist in Latin America. Well, there were certainly dangerous stories and challenging, you know, covering drug trafficking. I worked in, you know, covered the Guatemalan Civil War, but nothing compares to what exists today. You know, as a journalist, I felt that that visibility and my role gave me an element of safety. Today, it's the opposite. Today, you know, being a journalist, particularly being an international journalist, is going to make you a target. The very thing that made us safest now makes you vulnerable. For a healthy democracy, uh, journalism is a canary in the coal mine. If something is going wrong in a society with its uh, values and freedoms, one of the first groups to be attacked are journalists. Why? Because they provide information to citizens, allowing people to make up their own mind. There are so many countries in the world where there is not a free press, and in those countries, corruption is rampant, and abuse of freedom and of civil liberties is rife. Information is the currency. It is a shared global resource. It allows us to address global issues that transcend borders. If you look at you know, freedom of expression, freedom of information, they're generally guaranteed in the context of you know, national governments. But the only way that we get access to, to that is if journalists and other frontline news gatherers you know, take the risk and make the effort and bring us this information, which is so essential for global well-being and resolving global challenges that we face today. And why do journalists do this work? They're motivated by a kind of idealism. At the same time, it's exciting. This is you know, an incredibly exciting time to do this work. It's very meaningful, it's very valuable, it's powerful. And that's what really drives journalists to, to, to do this work and take these risks.